Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to learn how to add overlays to our videos to create cool and interesting transition but still keeping our video cinematic. This is the only way that I usually add stuff onto my videos to create transitions. So stick around, but first, before we start editing, let's download Filmora 12. Click the link below, click download, and install it, and now you're ready to follow along this tutorial. You don't need any pre-production when using these transitions, in fact, this is the only transition that I use when I actually don't know how to go from, let's say, a shot of me talking to a screen recording of me showing you this transition. And you can find so many film burns, so many different ones, but in this video, we're gonna find the right one because there is so many out there, but most of them out there, I just made up film bursts, which don't actually look nice, cinematic and professional. They just look fake. So let's try and find the good ones. Let's drop our footage into the timeline, make some random cuts, and then let's go into transitions. Here, if you type in film burns, you can actually find a few ones, but this is not what we're after. We're gonna go into effects and we're gonna search film burns into here. There are so many film burns that come up here, but honestly, the only one that I actually like and they look very realistic to me are the film damage one. So let's download them and start playing around with it. What I do is usually scroll through them, try and find the best one that fits for my transition and then cut them up even. Maybe I want one to be one second instead of three seconds. Maybe I want the start of this one and the start of that one. Don't limit yourself to what the actual overlay is. Try and mix it and make it more yours. Another very important thing is adding like a cool sound effects, like a old projector or like a film camera effect to it just to make it sound and look more realistic. It's also very important to fade in and fade out this effect just so it doesn't just like jump into your face and transition into the next one slowly fading in and it just looks better. You should definitely spend some time and try and find the best one for your videos but I always recommend to maybe use one maximum two per video and very sporadically don't overuse these ones because they really get annoying and they're just going to take away from what you're actually trying to shoot what well, the story you're trying to tell so maybe use it once maybe twice in your video don't overuse it that's it for this one guys i'll see you in the next lesson